Hi, this is David Gilpin with Gilpin Facial Plastics, and I wanted to take a few moments uh, to talk to you about what to expect when you come in for a consultation with us. If you've already scheduled your consultation, I want to thank you so much for doing that, and we can't wait to see you. At Gilpin Facial Plastics, it is very important to us that you have a seamless experience, uh, that you have uh, no questions, that you know what to expect uh, through every step of the process and your consultation is certainly no exception. After you've scheduled your consultation, you should receive uh, via text or via email or by some form of communication our patient medical history link. This is a chance for you to tell us a little bit more about yourself, specifically with your medical history. I hope you'll take some time to look through this and to fill this out completely. The things that we're looking for are medical conditions that you may manage on a daily basis or things that you take medications for. Please let us know the surgeries you've had in the past, medications that you're on, uh, and your allergies. We'll also ask some things like height and weight and whether you smoke or you've smoked in the past. Again, take a look at that and try to fill that out as completely as you can. If you're unable to do that beforehand, we'll have you do that uh, on check-in when you come in for your consultation. Once the day arrives uh, and you arrive at our office, our front staff will greet you and check you in, and then you'll be taken to our photograph room we'll, where we will take several angle photos of the face, uh, which will help us in our discussion during our consultation. These photos are also uh, saved in the medical record uh, as pre-procedure photos. After the photos are taken, uh, you'll be taken to your room where our nurse or medical assistant uh, will speak with you and, and discuss with what brings you in for your consultation. This is also a great time for them to go over their medical history, or excuse me, your medical history with you to make sure that this is accurate. Then, of course, you'll meet with me and this is my favorite time to get to know you and to get to meet you. We'll go over what brings you in, what concerns you have. This of course is what concerns you have surgically and medically, but I also want to know what gives you confidence, what doesn't give you confidence. When you look in the mirror, what are your eyes drawn to? What do you want help uh, with uh, an improvement with? We'll go over all these things. I'll be very honest with you, almost to a fault. Sometimes patients will come in thinking they need one procedure um, and will leave uh, knowing that they may need uh, something totally different, and that's okay. Also, if you have a support person in your life, a spouse, a parent, a friend, uh, who's going to be helping you through this process, please bring them in with you to your consultation. It is very helpful uh, especially both for me and for patients to be able to hear uh, from your support person, be able to answer their questions uh, and concerns all at uh, one sitting. Once we're done uh, speaking, you'll sit down with our patient care coordinator and it is our patient care coordinator's job to take you uh, through the rest of the process. Uh, they will go over the remainder of the details and help you find a wonderful time to have your procedure. They also will be able to answer questions that we either forgot to go over during the consultation or are new questions uh, that you didn't even know uh, that you have. Once you leave our office though, the consultation process is not over. If you have any questions or any concerns, we want you to call, text, email, communicate with us uh, what those are. We are an open book and want to discuss those questions uh, and concerns with you at every step of the process. I hope this has been helpful and I am looking very much forward to seeing you at our consultation. Please don't hesitate to call our office or email our office uh, with any questions. Thank you so much for listening and for your attention.